Hey everybody, Jake here with TrendSpider to go over the Thursday analysis looking at the raindrop candles into Friday on the Q's, SPY, and a couple others that I'm thinking of at the moment. So we'll see as we move on. But uh, starting with the Q's, we've got a very interesting bounce here uh, right at this resistance channel alert that we created a couple days ago. And um, what, you, what I did here was I created an alert on this particular line, but then what I did was, and we'll just do an example here, I created the alert, but then created some sensitivity around it. So instead of it having to hit exactly on this line, in this case it hit exactly there, um, you know, I can choose the margin of error. So when I move this to the right or left, you'll see that the alert is going to fire within a dollar amount, and so you don't have to capture that precise area. Um, so we did test this area. It will be interesting to see if we continue to the upside or have a bearish candle like we did here and continue down. And so just to explain the candles that I'm looking at, these are raindrop candles and they are very new to the TrendSpider platform. And what they are are their volume based candles where you can see um, in this case you've got the left side and the right side. And instead of the color being a function of the open and the close, it's a function of if the right side VWAP is above or below the left side, which is the first half of the period. In this case, we're on the daily. So this is the first half of the day. This is the second half of the day. Since the VWAP for the second half of the day is higher than the first half, that's why we're green. Opposite here, the right side VWAP is lower than the left side. That's why we are red here. Now, what we also have is this blue, which means that the VWAP for each side is exactly the same within a margin of error of X amount of percent, maybe, uh, you know, 0.01% or something like that. Um, so it's very close. And so you can see here, that's when both of these horizontal areas equal the same thing. And then on these, you can see they're much different areas. And, um, and so we'll just have to see what happens. We literally had a red raindrop on this channel support before three to the upside we have three to the upside again as well um, so we'll just have to see if uh, this this really does break through or uh, we do have that pull back into Friday now on SPY what we can see here is something a little different we've actually broken out of this area and so when I create um, some trend lines on this particular area let me go to enhanced. We can see that we, yeah, let me remove a couple of these. We can see that, you know, we are possibly nearing this uh, previous support, which is now acting as resistance. But on the shorter term time frame, if we are looking at this, this measured move here, we can see that if we draw some lines, say around here to here and then this for support around here oops around this general area you know we did break out of this channel so um, if we did continue to the upside it would be interesting to see if we do test this uh, previous pretty strong area of support which was tested um, we had once and then almost tested two other times here before gapping down below it. If we did want to create an alert at this area, we could create an alert. Same thing with the sensitivity. If we did want to give this some margin of error in case the price doesn't get exactly to this area, we can do maybe, you know, an alert fires within a dollar and 15 cents of that line. A breakthrough touch or a bounce is going to trigger the alert. We can do previous support, now resistance, 14 days have passed, and then the alerts created. So if we do continue up into Friday, we will be alerted when we get to this general purple area. Now what we can also do is add some lower indicators here. And what's interesting is the fact that the MACD is getting close to crossing here. So um, you know the last time that we did cross the MACD below the zero line, which was right here, this was a pretty good indication that we had further um, room to move to the upside. So if I did want to be alerted when this does occur and maybe when 
the percent range is above negative 25 and the RSI is above 60, I'll go in, create the alert for that particular set of conditions becoming true. We'll name it possible breakout, expires in 30 days. First condition would be the daily indicator MACD fast has crossed up through the daily MACD slow. The next one would be the daily be condition daily indicator Williams percent range has crossed up through the constant level of let's say negative 25. Then lastly, the RSI daily RSI 25 has crossed up through the constant level of let's say 60. So when all of these conditions become true, which could possibly be bullish, these are just the ones that I'm looking at. Everyone's going to have their own set of criteria they look for. Um, when these do become true, I'll know maybe it's time to look at the chart again to uh, become more bullish. We'll create the alert, and now the alert is available here. When you click the widgets and alert list, when we go to alert list, we'll see spy possible breakout. And then we can go and see, you know, these are the conditions that we're looking at. And if we do want to edit that, we can do that easily here. So that is how you can do the multi-factor alerts, looking for multiple conditions occurring um, rather than just the system looking for a particular price level or something like that. The TrendSpider system is very robust in that sense where you can really automate your strategy. It's not here to replace what you're doing by hand. It's here to make what you're doing by hand more efficient in automating those processes that you can um, hand off to the computer, if you will. So that is SPY in the queues. Let's look at one more, which is TEUM. And this is an interesting one that I've been watching. And um, what we can see here, and I'm actually going to turn off. Actually, no, I'm not. What I'm going to do is just clean this up a little bit. So I'm just holding down the shift key and clicking these in order to make this, uh, in order to delete these. And so if we were looking at these particular lines, you know, we are in a pretty strong downward channel. So uh, we do have kind of this megaphone resistance and this megaphone support, if you will. So if this did continue down, you know, this could get into the mid $2 uh, range based on this particular trend line. Now, um, you know, we will just have to see what happens here, but it's interesting to see if we draw a trend line here from here to around here, this is almost to that particular area. So this was a very strong area of support. So we tested it once, twice, three times, four times, then five times, and then a couple bounces before eventually breaking down. And then this was the area that we broke through, found support, and then continued up. So um, this naturally is also an area that would be an area that technical traders are probably looking at, and that's around the 315 area. So if this did continue down, we could possibly just create an alert in that general area, let's say within about 10 cents of that line for a breakthrough touch or a bounce, I'll be alerted to know, all right, is this uh, finding a bid or is this going to continue down to possibly break through the $3 zone? So same thing, we can do support below, 14 days have passed, and the alert is created. So uh, we'll just have to see what happens into tomorrow. The system is finding a very strong downward channel here, so if this did continue, um, you know, this, these, these mid twos could be tested. Uh, at the end of the day, we are not licensed brokers or anything like that. We are just trying to show you our charting platform that we are really constantly trying to make better and innovate new ways of looking at volume and price action, as well as automating some of those manual processes that can be made more efficient by uh, the use of automation. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. We also are very responsive on social media, and uh, you can just look us up at TrendSpider on StockTwits, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. If you do have a specific question and want to sign up for a free trial, you can go to trendspider.com-pricing 
or reach out at hello at trendsplatter.com and we will get back to you as quick as we can. Thank you so much for listening in. Hope you have a great Friday and happy trading everyone.